Yo guys, I'm Yellow, a hardcore PC gamer, and today we are going to go through Velocity in CSGO. Uh, this is going to be very basic, and the primary objective of this video is just to go through and thus teach people that might not know all of these smaller details anything about Velocity in CSGO and how that can be blended and merged uh, together with uh, a lot of uh, grenades, especially Flashbang and Smoke Grenade. More so Flashbang, which is why I'm making this video separate to just covering the Flashbang, because, um, yeah, it's a very advanced kind of tool to, to, to deal with on its own when you combine it with what we're gonna go through with this video. So let's start off first then with the basics, which are uh, both of your tools playing this game. It will be your keyboard of choice and your mouse of choice, in which um, in the source engine, velo velocity is signed towards objectives, or objectives, objects I meant to say, just like with reality, which means that it's, I mean, it's not perfect, but at least it's trying to mimic it to some uh, serious degree, which means that you can, for example, run and far throw a grenade and you will be able to throw it further because your momentum is being added on top of the grenade of choice that you decided to throw. Now, this, these mechanics right here, they are primarily just focusing on how you move around on basic surfaces, which is, you know, two-dimensional per se. Um, aside from that, jumping is also an external mechanic, which uh, I'll dive into even deeper uh, in a second. Uh, aside from this, you also got your mouse with a lot of different options. You got regular far throw, which was what I was most used to when I started to play uh, CSGO in 2013, late. And then you got right click, which was added, and then in between, which I pretty quickly figured, all right, I, I guess you can do that as well. In between isn't that far flying, which is kind of good, and then right click is um, pretty short to say the least. In which uh, that is, uh, there, there's actually an external trait to right clicking, which is pretty good. So take a look at how quickly I can pull out my rifle. By the way, that is how the game by default works, it will always try and uh, pull out your most powerful weapon. Right clicking actually allows you to pull out your weapon and shoot way faster than a right click, I mean regular click throw, or left click I guess. Which means that if you then, for example, want to throw anything up close, you're actually gonna be in good company, because you get your rifle faster. Uh, should not be underestimated, and on top of that, if you need to throw multiple uh, right click uh, close up grenades, if you have uh, bound your keys up properly, you can do that pretty fast. That aside, the exact value of how far you throw your uh, your um, your uh, throwables actually is connected to the exact position of the movement animation in between of the three set positions. You know, left click, both clicked, and right click, which it was something that I took almost for granted as soon as this was added. The reason for this was because I pretty quickly found out that your view model is actually connected to exactly how accurate you are. So a good example would be how if I now decide to shoot at this wall right here and I'm standing and tapping, the center uh, kind of circular position will actually be a little, big, a little bit bigger if I crouch down, which is pretty much signified with uh, the view model uh, hugging your body even more. So if we now, for example, take a look, I mean, the difference is going to be pretty small, but it's still there, and it's even easier to see with a debug crosshair. But that aside, the point, though, is that the same thing actually goes on with right-clicking, middle, uh, or both clicking and, uh, and left-clicking, which is pretty cool. So if you then, for example, want to throw a not super long throw, you can actually just tap right click a little bit and it will get a very sweet tra trajectory in which would um, be a little bit further and longer if you just threw it regularly. However, the exact value is like, there's so many fucking combinations with just this alone and what if you then combine that with how you move and then maybe how, where you jump and then maybe where you look um, while running, uh, yeah, the combinations are practically infinite, which is why I figured that now I should cover the last one, which is the one I find to be the most interesting, and I've yet to see pros actually utilize jumping and banking the flashbangs with their uh, mo momentum, their personal momentum landing uh, into the floor and then pushing out with a flashbang, for example. A good example would be right here, uh, trying to peek this little avenue at the T steps or stairs or whatever you want to call them, ramp, people got different callouts, in which if you just run, jump, bank the flashbang at the ground, and then it flashes you, if you time that properly, as you can see, I did not there, in which this takes some practice, I do reckon, um, it will actually, okay, man, I actually duplicated it, it was kind of silly, but yeah, point though is that it will almost always fall all the way down, and if you are able to make it land approximately right here, People camping right here with a flashbang, they might hear this bounce, but they won't probably expect the flashbang to come down like this and then blow up in their face. So as you can see then, um, yeah, the flashbang has a lot of flexibility towards itself, which is why I'm gonna have its own video for that one. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully people learned something about the intricate mechanics of 
uh, objects in this game and how they are being altered with and along your own momentum. If you want to support the channel, we got a lot of links in the description below. I'll make an update video related to those kind of things uh, eventually, by the way. So feel free to take a look at the Patreon page or maybe you want to grab a t-shirt. Uh, please do tweet me if you have uh, gotten one because as far as I know, only one did so, but it looked incredibly awesome. So there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Have a nice day and don't get pissed to fight when you play.